Because my papa didn't control I love his fellow, he is more than me below Because my daddy did for him true Observe my life, oh, see the way I know Because I'm under, I'm under the umbrella Now God get on up for me, he's more than me below Because I'm For my body, for my body Where you the carry me go? How you the carry me go? I dey under the canopy So I no get what I like and no be When they try to put on for my body Bounce to the over, you go over me, you go over me Girl, I know they stop me, you know get the checkpoint oh. Everything you, you do, do is on point oh. Lord, now my head where you are not go Yo, yo, yo Your grace, more the rest of the day Always they follow me Your joy be my strength, you they power me so you know, there was this time long ago, Jesus Christ was speaking to his disciples and a few people and he told them his story. He actually had told them two other stories before this one, but he shared with them that there was once a father with two sons who had wealth and his sons were good, they were okay they had a good life they really wouldn't have much to complain about and they were living with their father but at some point the younger son felt like he wanted to become a man on his own like he wanted to become you know you know like we like to say let me go and explore my world by myself and he met his father to say dad could you give me the things that belongs to me for me to live and the father obliged him Give him, you know, his part of his the inheritance. So we could say the father had ten acres of land and the father gave him four. So he took his four, sold it, and he left. He left for a while. And if you already know what I'm talking about, I think you already know what happened in the story. He used up everything that the father had given to him. It was his own. The father gave it to him. But he didn't manage it well so he didn't the thing didn't sustain him for so long so at some point everything was finished because you know even when god gives us something he expects us that we manage it and multiply it and have the same service for a long time but like so many of us do sometimes or so often of the time we abuse those things at some point it was so bad he was so poor that he was willing to eat what the pig were, were eating. You could imagine the state. I'm not sure my mind can fully grasp that. Um, I don't know if yours can, where you'll be so hungry that even the foods given to pig will be looking inviting to you because you just want to get something down your throat. And at that point, he said to himself that, okay, so it, it's fine that instead of him to eat with pig, he rather humble himself and go back to his father to tell his father that even the people who are slaves in our house they don't eat foods that pigs eat so at least i'll have something to eat in my father's house i might have squandered everything but i have something to eat so he went back the bible tells us so many things that the father was at the balcony and the father sighted him from afar off and the father ran to him to embrace him but watch what happened the father said they should put him a new royal robe, put a ring on his hand, put sandals on his feet, and ask them to kill food because the son is back. The son is back now, who have squandered all his inheritance. But when he came back to the father, there was still an inheritance for him. He would have thought that the father would say, You've used up all your inheritance. Okay, you're back now. Just be eating the mouse, but I have nothing else to give to you. But there was still an inheritance for him to have, even after he abused that. That's not fair, right? Well, that's what grace does. 
Grace helps us to balance the equation. Grace steps in. Regardless of our shortcomings and our fall, Grace stands in for us. Grace doesn't tell us to keep falling and keep not wanting to stand, but Grace sees us to say, if you try again, I will help you rise up. And here we are, a church of 20 years, who've enjoyed that kind of grace. We're not the best in performance. We've not had 100% in every area of life as a church. We've not been top in everything, every day, at every time. None of us has been able to say, hmm, is our power, is our wealth, is our management skill, is our superior reasoning that has kept us here. What has helped us 20 years has been grace. Grace has held us. The days where we were not so strong, grace gave us strength. The times where it was tough and difficult, grace strengthened us. The days where we didn't have, where we were not sure where we were going to, grace helped us hold on. Then in 2 Corinthians 2 verse 9, the Bible tells us that eyes have not, that it is written, for eyes have not seen, neither have heard, ears heard, what God has planned for you. And grace is telling us now that there's still much more in the future. Regardless of our shortcomings, regardless of our de deficiency, regardless of the things that we, we, we are not so great at, that there is still much more for us as a church in the future. And that's why we are standing here today to say the King's Assembly is 20 years and we are celebrating grace, we are celebrating mercy. Grace has helped us. It's not because of our intellectual powers. It's not because of our eloquence we can be. It is just because of grace. Grace helped us and grace can help you too. You see, there are so many things you can do. I'm sure you are smart. I'm sure there are so many things you can figure out by yourself, but I'm telling you that grace is available to carry you all the way because there are so many things you can do also. And as a church, we're standing here today to say we are 20 by grace. We're standing here to say it's not by our minds, but God will give you glory for keeping us by your grace for these last 20 years. And we're telling you also that grace is able to help you. Everything we've experienced as a church. We started from one very small place in Aladumu, and here we are in GRA, facility able to take on thousands of people. And we're not even, and we're, and God is not even done with us yet. 20 years ago, just somewhere in D-Line, conceiving what to do, but here we are. We've journeyed different places. We've been to Stadium Road, which is now a branch church for us. We have online services. We have so many people being transformed. Grace have done it for us, and grace can do it for you because God is a God who is just and who is faithful to everyone and not a selector of persons. So be encouraged today. You've done something not so well before. Grace will help you. You are not sure what the future is for you. Grace would carry you. Wise have not seen indeed. We look forward to the years to come with expectancy, knowing that God is able to do exceedingly beyond all we can ask, think, or imagine. And we're saying you too can join us and look forward to what God can do for you. Look up to God with grace. Let God carry you in his arms and show you grace and mercy. God is able to give you such grace and mercy. My name is Ini, and as we celebrate today, and I want to keep celebrating years to come, I pray that you would always have things to be grateful for as you look back into your life. I love you. We love you. And we hope to see you again next week. Have a great and amazing week. Bye-bye.